Hi, let me show you how to do the settings on your camera. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be recording directly from the camera so you can see exactly what's visible on the screen. So this is a camera as it comes out. So I've put it on the M uh, manual mode on the top of the camera. And so for, stand, for most irises, you can put it on 1 over 80. And then by clicking the button where your thumb is, where it says AV, then the cursor will move over to the right hand side. And this, you could leave it on about F5. That's for, for most irises, this is the, the, the right setting. If you have very dark irises, you could change this to 1 over 60. And this one, you could all go all the way down to 2.8 if you need to, but you, you, you're not going to need it with the version 5 of the RS Explorer. The lighting is, is perfect for, for dark irises, so you, you may go down to 3.5 or 4. But uh, for most irises, yeah, 5.6 is probably okay. Um, then the ISO, so this one, we recommend that you put it on 800. And then the white balance, that's this one here. You go and put it here on white fluorescent light. So that's that, set. Now let's go into the menu. There's a couple of things that are important in here. So. Just shift over here, and this is where we have the white balance shift bracketing. So that's this one here. So you click on here, and we have to synchronize it perfectly with the lighting system. So you go and put it on A5, so you move that over to here, and then on M3. So A5, M3. So let's click on set. There we go. And there's a couple of things that I like to change here. The auto power off, I move it over to four minutes, so then it doesn't switch off when you're talking with your client, for example. And then here, the brightness, I like to put it on to six. So you can get a bit more detail when you're looking at the irises on the screen. And that's it. So that's all the settings you need to change on your camera. And now let's take a photo. So now let's give this a try. I don't know, because I'm recording from this screen, it may not work, but let's hope it does work. So I'm going to maybe put it on live view. Let's see if that's going to be accurate. So there we go. It's a lot slower on live view. And that's the RS photo. So let's and zoom in. There you go, perfect. So that's, even though I did it on live view, it worked very well. So, so some cameras work very well with live view, which means you can see what you're taking a photo of, so the iris on the back screen. But um, for many cameras, looking through the viewfinder, uh, like getting your face close to the camera when you take the photo, is a little bit faster and it does improve the quality of the image slightly. So anyway, that's on a side note. So there we go. So we've got the settings on the camera. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, send me an email. Thank you.